Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. In you I live and move and have my being. Every step I take, every breath I breathe, all is done in your watchful, embracing presence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is now 12 noon, and we're ready to start our worship experience to give God's name the glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, 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 Holy Spirit. Glory to God. You are welcome in the midst. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Woman's Prayer Circle. I trust God that everyone had a blessed and a wonderful Christmas and are looking forward to a brand new year, a brand new beginning, and a brand new mercies every morning. God is forever faithful. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future filled with hope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The word of God is blessed. At this time, praise God, we will put our phones on mute or lower your volume so everyone can hear and receive every prayer that goes up before the Lord on this blessed day. Glory to God. We shall now have our first prayer warrior, Sister Nina Jones, with our opening prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lord God, our Father in heaven, we come to you with thanksgiving this afternoon. Thanksgiving in our heart, Lord God. Because you, you are the great I am. You are our Alpha. And our Omega, Lord God, you are our beginning and our end. We want to thank you for bringing us through this season of, of um, Thanksgiving and Christmas, Lord God. But we know that you are the reason for the season. It's not about the gifts. It's not about the cornbread, the turkeys, or ham, and all of that good stuff. It is all about you, Lord God. Because you brought us thus far, we want to thank you, Lord God. You've kept a hedge of protection around us through all of the storms that we've gone through, Lord God. You knew all these things were going to come about way before it's time, but you kept us through it all, and we want to just say thank you, Father. Lord God, I want to thank you for our prayer circles near and far praising you and giving you the highest praise, hallelujah, daily, Lord God. You strengthen us, send us out two by two, Lord God, so that we could do your will. It's always good to have someone with you when you go out nowadays throughout the land, Lord God, because there's so much going on. Lord God, I thank you for my sisters and my brothers in Christ, Lord God. Lord God, I ask that you would put a word in our mouth a song in our heart, so God, that we would do your will. And thank you for all the things that you've done for us in the past, the things that you're doing for us right now, Lord God, and what you want to do for us in our future, Lord God. A new year is coming upon us, and we are going to thank you in advance for bringing us thus far, Lord God, because a lot of us, a lot of us did not make it, Lord God. Lord God, here today, gone today. We just want to ask that you would touch the bereaved right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Ask that you would just keep us as we go in, as we come out, Lord God. Because you, only you, can do this. Lord God, I ask that you would touch the sick and the shut in, Lord God. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Wrap them with your finger of love, Lord God. I ask that you would heal, heal the sick, Lord God. The ones that are going through pain and agony, Lord God, I ask that you would touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Help us to make it through the day, Lord God. We can't talk about the 
of law because we have not yet seen it. And as the days go on, we cannot recall them. Yes, the day is gone, sweet Jesus. And it's, it's nothing that we can do about that. And the things that have gone on, things that are going on. Lord God, I ask you just to continue to keep us in your loving arms, Lord God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, my sister, for amen. your heartfelt amen. opening prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Nina. Hallelujah. God's word brings life, health, and healing to every single area of your life. He wants to heal you everywhere you hurt. Whatever you need, hallelujah, today. Hallelujah. Study his word in those areas. Then bring hallelujah. And by declaring what God says over your situation. Hallelujah. So whatever you need, glory to God, it is in the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them and healing to the whole body. That's Proverbs 4, verses 20. Hallelujah. We shall now hear from our next prayer warrior, Sister Betty Harris, with our prayer list, praise report, and words of encouragement. Thank you, sis. Amen. Praise God. May everyone on the line be blessed no matter what they're going through as we come to the end of the year. And I would read Luke 2.25, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, meaning the coming of the Lord. And the Holy Ghost was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And was a parent, Mary and Joseph, boy and the child Jesus, to do for him after the custom of the law. Then he took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou the servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thou salvation. Simeon was ready to go home to the Lord. He wanted to stay until he saw thou salvation. The birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As I pray for each one that's on our prayer list, may we all see salvation. The birth, as we have known, his birth has came. May we all see salvation through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we start out on our prayer list, the Lord will continue to bless them and has through 2023. And we're praying for blessings to continue from our Lord. With the faith and prayers that we do and calling out the name on the list, I know our Father in heaven will continue his blessing and more importantly, his healing. And keep the faith. Because as the kids say, we never give up on God because he's never given up on us. We start our prayer. We continue to bless the kid Wilson. Continue to bless her and her healing and her lab work and just all that she has come upon. May the Lord continue to make everything good for her. We pray for Bishop and First Lady Sharon Staple, the Temple of, of Praise Church, Pastor Jackie Stevenson, the Warner family, the Williams family. The Queen family, Mr. Queen, as he goes daily or every every other day for his dialysis treatment, we continue to pray for him. The Gaines family, continue to strengthen uh, Greg, our father. Pray for my family, the Harris family, and continue to keep them safe and healing, too, for each and every one of them. The Walker family, Mrs. Perry, our father, is the first uh, Christmas as they are Jehovah's Witness. I'm sorry. The losing of her son. We pray for Miss Perry. Victoria and Isaiah, Jackie Jones, uh, Sonny Nichols, and his neighbor across the street from him. And we have added him to our list. His name is Tim. 
And you know, the Lord only gave him a certain, I mean, the doctor gave him a certain time to live. But I saw him walking down the street the other day, and this was months ago the doctor had given him limitation. So God is working now, Father. We will continue, continue to call out his name and praise his holy name. The leading family, Dr. Donna Anderson, Papa Bill and Gail, Gloria and Curtis, Cousin Gloria Miles, William Gilbert, Pastor uh, Bob Wingfield, and his family, our father, is the building of the, it's coming along just by the health center or the center that he's building for the community, and we continue to pray that everything is going along smooth with that. We pray for Dr. Gertie Wingfield, our father. Margaret Wingfield, my cousin, has been going through it with hacking and trying to break into her home, and she's in her early 80s. We continue to pray for the Lord to strengthen her, and may she not live in fear, but we have to watch and pray. We have to watch and pray. Juanita, Bob, and Chanel, Edith, and Jessica Martin, Aunt Eloise, and Beverly, Beverly, and Tam, Russell Stewart, and family, Teresa Moore, and Pinky. Pauline and Pastor Jay, Patricia Height and daughters, Terrell Fields, our father, first time without having his brother at the holiday season, so we continue to pray for him. He's going through a rough time miss, missing his brother, Danny. We continue to pray for James McLean and Anne. Dorothy was down in Malia and Angela Johnson, the Maplewood community, Lord. Keep us safe, our father. Cousin Julia and Roland, Paula Garrett, Ella Penn, the Gray family, Arnetta, and family. She's always sending prayer requests and healing for her family. Let her continue to be in good health. Mr. Rogers, the Kirksey family is traveling back to Florida. We pray to traveling nurses and they got back safe and okay. Coming to visit here, mother on Malin. We she came to visit and it was her. On Malin is ninety four, her youngest daughter, Kim, and her daughter, Alexandra, and the granddaughter oh, great-granddaughter, uh, Alexandra and Isabella. So we just continue to pray for those four generations. God is good and bless the family with longevity. Campbell family, Reggie and Mandy, and this is Walker and his final surgery. We pray that she's doing well. Milton Davis, patients with viruses. That new virus is out of quite a few people have these colds that's come upon them as not going away right away so they don't know if it's allergies or what i know quite a few people have come down with cold not not the virus as they know unless it's the new virus because they're not testing positive with covid so we pray for them it's quite a few that i've heard from uh patients on dialysis continue to be many our father we continue to pray for them we pray for healing of kidneys our father we pray that they come up with some technology that they don't have to sit three and four hours three times a week to drink we just pray our father we pray because we know you give knowledge to doctors and physicians and lab technicians and those that are looking for different types of cure the lord Blessing them, our Father. May the blessings come through to others that's going through so much. Those are anxiety and panic disorder. Those are nursing homes in the hospital. Those are incarcerated in the elderly, Lord. Let them get the care that they need. Those addicted to drugs and alcohol and food sin and mental illness, dementia, and Alzheimer's, our Father. You know what they need, and we thank you, Lord, for blessing them, and you have blessed them, and continue to bless and heal them. We pray for all the family bereaved that have lost their loved ones, our Father. We pray that they know that their loved one is with our Savior, Jesus Christ. What a safer place to be. What's going on down here on this world, that they don't have to worry about that. But I know it's hard. I know it's hard to lose a daughter, a son, a grandchild, a mother, and a father. Lord, we just pray for them. You would strengthen their heart and let them know the joy and the peace that they, they have, our Father, will have. As a song, I always love this song that it said, the time that I spent with you will always be. Don't cry for me. I told my sister, my children, that's my favorite song. Don't cry for me when I'm gone because the time I spent with you will always be. That will never be changed. We pray for frontline workers. We pray for Sister Agnes Price and her granddaughter that's playing the role of a mother and a sister. So we continue to pray for Christian and pray for Sister Price and her lab work came back good and she's feeling better. We just thank God for that. We thank God for that. 
and pray for her great granddaughter as well. We pray for Catherine Gerald Green, Sister Madeline Robinson, as I just said, my auntie just had her daughter and her granddaughter and her great granddaughter with her during the holidays, and we just continue to bless her, bless her at 94 years old, bless her and bless her in a mighty, mighty way. Longevity. She has a, a cousin, a first cousin. I got a picture of her that was sent to me during the holidays. She's 94 years old. They went to school together. Her name is Christine Wingfield. And, and their fathers were first cousins. So I, I just thank God for the longevity that you have given. Uh, Malin is 94 and Christine is 94. We just continue to pray for them, both 94 years old, in positive, positive attitude. And love the Lord. Love the Lord. We pray for Peggy Murphy, Pastor Charles Rowley, and the difficulties with his eyes and diabetes. We pray for Corbin Dorsey, my nephew that's been incarcerated for almost 18 years, and I pray that he's able to come home soon to be with his mother and father that's getting up in age. We pray for that. We pray for Tony and Avery C. Taylor. We pray for the Glassbees, the Gaskills. We continue to pray for them. And my sister Darlene with sarcoidosis, her husband with Parkinson. Lord, you know, you know, Lord Jesus, and you know what we all need is a Old folks say you never strand a hair on our head. The Dorseys, the Deboses. We pray for children and teachers that are out for the holidays. Keep them safe, Lord. And even as they go back for the second term in school, keep them all safe, our Father. Tomeka and family, Bobby Zan and Bree, Wanda Jones, Broadway family, the Sister Circuit and family, Women's Prayer Circuit, everyone on this line and their family members, and their loved ones, and their friends that's going through something. God didn't bring us this far just to leave us. Continue to call out his name, our Father. We pray for Janice Willis, Monica's dad, uh, Dr. and Mrs. Washington, Melinda Peacock, Gladys Cody, Rebecca Washington, and Murray Clark. We pray for Sister Burdell, our Father. She's up in age, and she's gone through chemo, and still a very positive attitude. We love the Lord. You know, when you love Jesus, when you love Jesus, as they say, even when you are praying and fasting, they say, wash your face, that nobody needs to know but you and Jesus. So you know what he's brought you through. I know what he's brought me through. And I look at these people that are on the list that I know of that have gone through chemo, gone through radiation, gone through problem with finances and everything else. They lost their loved ones, but they keep the faith. Continue to pray for Linda Paxson, her Crohn's disease, and other issues with her kidney. Uh, Brother John Tosa now following his back issues. Christian Simmons. We continue to pray for Reverend Ellen Jackson, James Brown, Jada Harris. Lord, you know what they need. Continue to pray for Wanda Davis. I know if she felt good, she would send more than just one word text. And i got to continue for Wanda Davis. She's a young lady. I've known her since she's 18, and she's in her mid-50s now. She's, as I said before, she's had three kidney transplants. The last one during the pandemic, her son gave it. And I remember her son when he was a baby. The first kidney lasts for 30 years. So we thank God, and we know God will continue to heal her with the leisure that she has on her brain. Janice Green, Rachel Jr., Audrey Taylor, Charles Key, and Edgar Page. We pray for Mr. Page. He had a fall. He's up in age. He may be 89 years old now, but he had a fall. And because of his age, um, they're not. They're shying away from the MRI. But we know God is still in the healing. So we continue to pray for Brother Edgar Page. Glenda Clark, Pauline, we continue to pray for her to lost her eye to shingles. We pray for Robert Boone and Sister Janice Sykes of the Fells family, Colonel D. Shields of the Brenner family, Carlos in Brazil, Anthony Cardwell, Diane Fields, Anthony Harris, Lon, Lawrence and Gwenda, Mrs. Coleman. We continue to pray for her. She's well up in her 90s with cancer, and the doctor did not given her any kind of treatment because of her age. And that's been diagnosed maybe about six months ago. And Ms. Coleman is doing all right. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Larry, Bob, Kia Fisher, Vera and Graydon, Graydon and Joey Carter, Lillian Farr. We know that she's up in age, and maybe someone can give us an update on Ms. Farr. Mia Queen and her family, her daughter's doing well. They text me this morning. You know, her daughter was in her 30s, and she had um, mastectomy. She had breast cancer. 
and she's doing well. We just thank you, Lord. We just praise your holy name. We continue to pray for my cousin, Diane. As I said, she has been off of uh, oxygen for months, I mean, actually for a couple of years, about three and a half to four years, and the doctor has not put her back on it yet, but he's saying that she may have to go back on um, oxygen. We pray for Carolyn and her breathing problems and other issues that she's having. Those are cousins that are my age, a little younger than I am, but they all in their mid seventies. Anthony Caldwell, Lawrence Lawrence and Michelle Williams, Tasha, uh, that had cancer and the virus. We know she she's on our list and we continue to pray for Tasha. Robert Boone, Mandy and Reggie and Evelyn continue to pray for them and a ninety year old our father. Juanita and her loved ones always, always Always, we continue to pray for uh, Sister Juanita and her traveling mercies. We continue to pray for um, Patrice Bell. She went on a cruise, but uh, she was self-dialysis at home. And she's making it because I think she comes back and she left last week on a cruise with her son. And God is good. Even though she was on dialysis, I don't know how she made it. Uh, she was self-dialysis. She did it from home every night. So she may have taken it with her, but I, I hope and pray to talk to her because she's she's coming back today. We continue to pray for Cheryl more than Lisa Paula, Corey Taylor. She's over her uh, dialysis, and you, as you know, she had spine surgery some time ago. She's 17 years old now, and she's, you know, you have to feed her, you have to carry her around, but God is good. She's gone through COVID. She's gone through the spinal surgery, but she cannot talk. She cannot walk, but getting the good care from her mother. We continue to pray for the Barber family, Edwards family, Renee Thomas, uh, Mrs. Sydney and her family, uh, Mrs. Grandma's son that's in rehab. We continue to pray for it. Pray for him. And we continue to pray for Chris Mason that was in ICU so long. He was in ICU for several months, but he's in a rehab right now. General Gaskill up in his mind, he's doing much better. Uh, continue to pray for Connie Johnson, the surgery that he has, and he's up in age. David Shackleford, Anika's mom. We continue to pray for Gina, Gina Gunther, and the mom. And we continue to pray for Bashan Seawright and family. We continue to pray. I know she had another prayer request, so I'll get to that. Uh, Nat Jennings, we, Beverly Bryan, Nancy with dementia, and we pray for her husband, her daughter, Aunt Charlene, Uncle Herbert. Continue to keep them on our prayer list throughout the year and into the new year, covering all seniors. You know, that's my pet peeve. We pray for the seniors. They're getting the care that they need. They're not lonesome. They're getting the food that they need. They get uplifting. Prayers from others, our Father. Please continue to cover the seniors with the blood of Jesus. Annie Epps, her daughter Darlene, Clyde Peacock, Renee Sterling. We continue to pray for the Baxter family down in Florida. They're doing well, doing much better. We continue to pray for Jay and taking care of her aunt with dementia, Aunt Barbara Jean. This is a young lady that works every day, and she takes care of her aunt that took care of her when she was in foster care, got her out and took care of her. So she's doing, her aunt is doing well. Matter of fact, she's getting a, another a home today. I think she found her another senior place is more comfortable than where she's coming out of rehab. We just pray that she gets the care and the medication she needs. Uh, George Davis, Tara Garvins, Marcel Garvins, continue to pray for Nita's friend. I think it's doing much better. She can give an update on Tony. Uh, Dollar Anderson, the Barrows family, college students that are out on their break, elementary school, middle school, all of them, keep them safe, our Father. When they return, let them have a safe second second semester in school. The Marquis family, Wanda Davis, uh, Crystal, we continue to pray for the young lady in her 30s that were breast cancer and chemo. They went to school with my granddaughter, Barbara Talbert, uh, her gout. She's doing much better with the medication and the food that she eats to prevent the gout from coming out. Aisha, Michael, Bradford, our father, we pray for that family, that the young lady go back to her family and her five children. Uh, Teresa Moore, North Carolina, we continue to pray for the Green Hill family. As you know, her daughter, Sharma, had been in... Um, Oh, for a long time, she was in a, in a coma, but as I said before, her mother goes to our church, and she's able to, uh, Sharma is in a rehab center now, and able to speak 
close her eyes and her, she's even able to hold on to her mom's hand so we can continue to pray for complete healing for this young lady, Sharma Brooks. We pray for Pastor Coates at Mount Enon Church with uh, kidney polystatic. We continue to pray for him. Uh, Sally, her chronic back pain, she was able to come up here to see her new little great-grand, and she did fly up. And uh, I'm sure I'll get to pray with her tomorrow because her daughter called me today. Uh, Eugene Davis, pacemaker, and lost of a kidney. So he's back on waiting for another um, kidney transplant. Clara Griffin, she called me over the holidays. She's the one that had uh, dental work done several months ago, and it was an infection, and she lost the sight in one of her eyes. They continue to pray for Clara Griffin. Caroline Kempson, her mom, that's going through problems down in North uh, South Carolina, so said another one. They are harassing her for her property. The, the Lord said in Joanne, they need, they need God in their life. We pray that they get that the coming year that they are touched by uh, the Holy Spirit and know that there is only one way, only one way. We know that, and we pray that they receive it as well. We pray for uh, Pat Smith and the loss of her two siblings and her son. Continue to strengthen her. Oh, Heavenly Father, you've done so much for each and every one of us. And those that have requested prayer for, keep all those safe down in Indian Acres as Juanita takes her trips down there and look at our other's property and give them updated and look out for all of her neighbors down there. We continue to pray, keep her safe going up and down the highway. We know, Lord, you see all, our Father, and you know all. There is no one greater than thou. We pray for Dr. Cal, our president of our civic association grandson that was being bullied at school. Lord, we love you so much, and we thank you for what you have done, Lord. And we know that you're going to always be there for each and every one of us. You love none no more than the other. We're all your children, Lord, and we know that. We pray for the young lady, my daughter's one of her closest friends, Sonia. She lost her mom on Tuesday night. But let me tell you about Sonia. She took care of her mom, Miss Barbara Bennett. She took care of her mom. I look at these young ladies that work every day. They find a way for somebody to look out for their mom, and they take care of her. She put her mom in a nursing um, uh I think, well, she put her in a nursing home just for a minute, hospice. And they usually take good care of her. She went there two days later, which was one day this week, early week, and her mom wasn't in the condition that she thought she would be. She dressed her mom. Her mom was down to 67 pounds. And I said, I told Felicia, I said, Sonia is a good friend. Look how she take care of her mom. Her mom was down to 67 pounds, and she was wearing little pampers that little babies wear. But she saw the condition that she was in a hospital just after the second day. She dressed her mom and put her on clothes and lift her mother up so she could die in peace at home. And they asked her, come back and sign these papers. And she said, just mail them to me because I'm taking my mom home. Her mom was home two days, and she transitioned on over to Cedar Lower Bowl. What? a young lady that took care of her mom. We pray for, we pray for evangelist Bishan Seawright uh, as her father. She's praying for her father that he's going through difficulty. We continue to pray for the Seawright family. Charles Moore uh, with serious issues with prostate. As I know, both of my sons are having issues with prostate. So we pray for Charles Moore. Uh, serious issues and from uh, Teresa in North Carolina wanted us to pray for him. We pray for Helen McGee. Uh, she's off of dialysis and she's in hospice. Her daughter Lisa wanted us to pray for her. Maybe so I can give us an update on this Helen McGee. Latrice Everett that had two strokes and in a wheelchair. We pray for Patricia Ross, another one that's had a severe stroke. They tried to put her in a uh, rehab, but she only lasted one day. They had to take her back to the hospital. This is my sister Joan's sister-in-law, Patricia Ross. We continue to pray for Tracy Prince, another young lady, just barely 60, that has Parkinson. And I've said before, she tries to work, but she has difficulty buttoning her dress and putting on her shoes. But she's, she carries on. No complaints. She carries on. It's someone to help her get dressed to go to work. 
Albert with the surgery of friend of Uncle Herbert's. Juanita the evangelist, keep her in good health and traveling mercies, and her aunt and Uncle Herb. Reginald Brown is in hospice. I, I someone can give an update on that. It's Nina's friend. And Lord, you know, we pray for the immigrants, our father, those uh, immigrants, 12,000 crossing over in a day. Lord Jesus, I look at them, and you know God sees and know all. I look at the immigrants, and I, and I think, you know, we're all God's children. But I look at them as crossing over. They're healthy looking. They're dressed nice and clean. Not like our sisters and brothers over in Africa. Not like them over there with little babies' stomachs swollen because they don't have anything to eat. So I'm looking at these immigrants. Lord, I'm not one. I'm not the judge. God is the judge. So if they are doing this and if the leaders of their countries are sending them over here, and we don't know our father, we don't know if they're out of jail, we don't know if they're carrying diseases, we're all God's children, but we got to watch as well as pray. I'm looking at them getting off of buses and crossing the border, and I'm looking, I'm saying, they are healthy looking. They're nice and clean, the children are nice and clean. What about our sisters and brothers over in Africa? What about them? Swollen stomachs, our father. Those that are drinking muddy water. What about them? They've got us children too. So I'm thinking and I'm praying, our father. I know we got to watch as well as pray. I'm looking at Israel and Jerusalem and Gaza Strip. Fighting over, killing babies because of the land. God, you see all. Please, our Father, please, our Father, come down and straighten out what's going on in this world, in this world. Eventually, all of them that have crossed over, and you're looking at them, their eyes are clear, some of them wearing glasses. All of that's going to be a strain on us as sisters and brothers in the United States. It's going to come to, if they're coming over, so many coming over like that, eventually, it's going to hit us. It's going to hit us with the taxes we pay. As I said before, we're all God's children. God loves us all. He loves us all, but God stands for equality. God stands for love and not hate. We don't hate any of them. We don't. We don't. We don't. And I know we don't. But any names that I have missed, we continue to pray for Charlene with liver cancer, Cousin Renee and her eye problem. We continue to pray for them all, our Father Teresa in North Carolina. We continue to pray for them all. Alfonso Harris in the hospital, for Miss Sydney and her son. Lord, we continue to pray for them all. We call out to you, Lord. We call out to you, oh, Heavenly Father. Make a way, Lord. Make a way for us all. Now and in the coming year, we know that God is in the midst of it all. We plead the blood of Jesus over every one of them on our list and everyone that's on the phone and their family members. We love you, Lord. We praise your whole. We are joyful of your birth. And we know that you're going to be there for each and every one of us. As I tell some people in the hospital, you're never alone. God is with you. God is with you, Emmanuel. In Jesus' name, I say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I say amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Betty. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I also just want to make a, a correction. Um, it's Albert Lee, right? He's the one who's a friend of my brother. I know you said uh, Albert is a friend, uh, a friend of uh, Uncle Herbert's, but it's my brother, um, Albert Lee. We haven't heard anything yet from him and his surgery. Praise God. So we thank the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for you, Sister Betty. Praise God. Hallelujah for our prayer list. Glory to God. This is called the, amen. This is called the knots prayer. Dear God, please untie the knots. They are in my mind, my heart, and my life. Remove the have nots, the can nots, and the do nots that I have in my mind. Erase the will nots, may nots, and might nots that may find a home in my heart. Release me from the could nots, would nots, and should nots 
that have struck my life. And most of all, dear God, I ask that you remove from my mind, my heart, and my life all of the I uh, the am nots that I have allowed to hold me back, especially the thought that I am not good enough. Hallelujah. Author, the Holy Spirit. Well, it's that time again, hallelujah, when we will have our sunshine there, hallelujah, and she won't allow any of those knots in her way. Glory to God. Come on in, sunshine bear. Come on in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Praise the Lord. 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 And I pray. 
pray that you do that if you have not done so at this moment in time. In Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. God is waiting for you right now. In Jesus' name, I love you all, and God loves you more. Don't give up on God, because he would never, ever give up on you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sister Takia. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For those encouraging words. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You know, I'm not the singer. Nina's the singer. Bashan is the singer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But other, the other thing I want to share is I want to give my condolences to Evangelist Bashon C. Wright on the passing of her father. We're praying for you, my sister. We're praying for you. Be encouraged. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And the song says, As I look back over my life And I think things over I can truly say That I am blessed I've got a testimony Hallelujah. Come and hear all you who fear God. And I will tell you what he has done for my soul at this time. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you got a testimony to share the good of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. The door is open for you. Come on and share your testimony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Any testimonies? Glory to God. If so, take your phone off mute and share your testimony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want to thank the Lord for the Today I am new on the line, but I have a testimony. God is good. He is the truth. I was sick, but he brought me through this sickness. I was in denial. I could not see what others were seeing. My uh, companion roommate took me to patient first. And when they, they didn't even examine me, they took one look at me and said, get her to the hospital right away. It's a matter of life or death. When we got there, I fought it. But when we got there, they put me on the off, took me off the journey and put me on a bed. That was the last thing I remember. A week later, I came to and my son was there, and they told me I had I was very sick. That I was diagnosed with pneumonia and fluid around the heart. My legs had gotten so big that they felt like they were going to tear open. But God brought me through this. I've witnessed his um, magnificent work to many others, like the Kia, who was in the car accident, and he doctors were hopeless, and he brought her through, and she is standing today. My roommate, who had COVID, and she was found on the floor of her her home, and she was rushed to the hospital, barely breathing. She is here today. But I had never really experienced anything until this last October. Today... I am home, but the whole time I was in rehab, I could feel his presence. He encouraged me to keep on fighting because he had me. I can say today, God is the true God. He's the God of yesterday, the God of today, and the God of the future. I praise him to the highest. For he saved me, and he is still with me. I am able to walk when I couldn't walk before. 
I'm able to do a lot of the things that I couldn't do, and I cried because I hate failure. But God said, wait, I will let you know. And he did. I am home today, and I'm walking without my walker, and I feel like <laughs> God can do anything but fail. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, sis, for sharing your testimony. And that's Sister Janet Cypress, who's on our prayer list. Glory to God. I was sharing last week. Hallelujah. How she had been in the hospital. Hallelujah. For months in, in, in rehab. October to December. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And at one point, she didn't even know who she was or where she was. But God, hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming on the prayer line, encouraging our hearts, letting us know that God is real. He's still healing. He's still blessing. He's still delivering. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, sis, for sharing your testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Do we have another testimony? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. This is Reverend Sir. Some of you may recognize my voice from the 7 a.m. proud worship experience at the Mount Avery Baptist Church each morning. I want to take this part of the time to just to say thank you for this ministry, you proud warriors, for your value of participation in the Mount Avery Baptist Church conversation with the Heavenly Father. And may your commitment continue, don't stop, because it's your commitment to God, your great faith, prayers that you do to God that connects with others. You are able to hear the praise reports that you are hearing as we just heard today. And I want to thank you uh, again on behalf of the Mount Erie Baptist Church, and may you continue to be strong because you have made us strong uh, as a church family, neighborhood family, because of uh, your intercessory uh, prayers with us, your participation uh, with us. And we just want to express gratitude at this moment. And uh, once again, continue, continue, continue praying. Even if you don't hear about the results, I want you to know somebody is being blessed because of your faith. And God and your prayers are not just empty words, but they are rooted and grounded in the word of God and a relationship with God that nothing or nobody can separate you from. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Suds. Glory to God. And thank God for the Mount Airy Baptist Church. Glory to God. Well, I tune in faithfully at 7 a.m. Glory to God to get my day started. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you also for honoring all the prayer warriors. Glory to God, hallelujah. That was such a blessing, such an encouragement, hallelujah, to the children and the saints of God, hallelujah. So we thank God for you, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Any other praise reports? Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Praise God. I want to thank God for waking me up and putting my feet on the floor because it could have been the other way. And I also want to thank God for allowing me to visit a very close friend, her 90th birthday, and she was just so upbeat. Her family picks all this wonderful food. And I mean, she was just upbeat. And she and I go way back. We used to work together. Also, I remember when years ago, my mom and I used to go to vote. She worked the polls, and she's still doing well. She said she hadn't been going back to church. She'd walk sometimes with the cane when she needs it, but otherwise she's doing well. And I want to thank God for allowing me to be there for her 90th birthday, and she's doing well. And thank God for all the other prayer warriors and all the family members that have been there for me during my troubling years. I've been going through something here where I live, but I know God is in control. I just have to turn it over to him because the enemy is busy. But we just have to keep the faith. 
things and keep on because I hope 2024 would be a better, better year, and I know it is. I just have to turn the battle over to God and release it. But I want to thank each and everyone on the prayer line and be blessed, everyone, and a happy, happy new year to all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ellen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And long life will I give you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Any Thank other? You, Jesus. Any other? Yeah. Yes. I would like to, I have a testimony. Um, I just went away from the line just a moment ago. This is Nina Jones. And I had sent my own care provider to the bank and to the store to pick up some things for me. As she was coming out of the store, coming back out onto St. Barnabas Road, there was someone driving crazy, and they were running from the police, and they hit a car. Thank God they didn't hit her car, but they were able to surround the person and take them back into custody. So I just wanted to share that. I just got off the phone with her, and I'm like, Lord, I thank you for covering her. She said that the guy was right behind her, but he did not hit her car. He hit someone else's car. And the police were able to get him. So I want to thank God for that. Thank you. For whatever the situation might be, I'm glad that they captured him. Yes. And I want to also share, um, I was listening to Pastor Sir when he was speaking just then, but as the call came in, I switched over. I want to just thank you and Mount Airy, Pastor West, and everyone for thinking of us, um, asking us, the prayer warriors, to come in and intercede with prayer with you guys every day um, when you invite us. So we want to just thank you and I praise you and, and, and thank thank God for what he's doing in our lives, bringing us together as sisters and brothers in Christ. And I want to personally thank you for myself because I try to get on with you all whenever I can. And it has been just an inspiration to even listen to you guys with prayer. So I want to ask you all to keep on doing what you're doing for Christ because it will never fail. His word does not go out and come back, boy, and we know this. So I just want to continuously say thank you and praise you and keep on doing what you're doing. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. 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 Any other testimonies? Because guess what? I will not turn down a testimony. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is the miracle Saint Angel Bear. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
my mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all the day. For their number is past my knowledge. With the mighty deeds of the Lord God, I will come. I will remind them of your righteousness, yours alone, O God. From my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. So even to old age and gray hairs, O oh God, do not forsake me until I proclaim your might to another generation. Glory to God. Your power to all those to come. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is blessed, blessed, blessed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have come to a part of our prayer circle that we really need your prayers. Pray for the loss. Pray for the hurting. Pray for the discouraged. Pray for the backslider. Pray for the unbeliever. Pray without ceasing. Pray, pray, pray. Glory to God. The moment you trust Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, all of your sins, past, present, and future are forgiven. Yes, just like that. This glorious gift of grace endured ensures that your ultimate destination is heaven. But more than that, you will receive the gift of himself. Yes, Jesus. And you can develop a personal relationship with him, which is the greatest treasure of all. There is nothing like being in the presence of the Lord. You will find joy in his presence. You will find peace in his presence. You will find love in his presence. Glory to God. If you feel that tug on your heart, it is God saying, come to Jesus. Come to me. I will take you just as you are. Come. If you accept this calling to come to Jesus Christ, please join me in prayer. But you must mean it with all of your heart and your soul and your mind. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Guide my life and help me to do your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the family of God. And the angels in heaven are rejoicing right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If you love Jesus, let me hear you say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God, Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus, 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 hallelujah, Jesus, glory to God, hallelujah, Jesus, Thank you. Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, glory to God. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Glory Amen. to God. Power, power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. I am looking for more in 2024. And I pray and trust God you are to expect. Hallelujah. Greater in next year. Expect, hallelujah, your healing. Expect it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We shall now have our next prayer warrior, Sister Ellen Key, with our closing prayer. Take us to the throne, Sister Ellen. Take us to the throne. Amen and amen. Let us lift up the name of Jesus, because Jesus is the reason for our strength. for the year 2024 because this is the season when God has said, hold on, this is the season when, and excuse me, 
and wonder fill the air with joy and love. It's a time to rejoice, a time to give, a time to share, a time to renew, and thank, and a time to give thanks, because God is God and he always will be. Let us as God's children accept Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus didn't show up for a celebration. He wasn't here for a vacation. His world wasn't well decorated, and we as God's children must accept Jesus came to a world that, oh, my Savior of the world really wasn't well decorated, and he surely wasn't well feeding. He came to a world that had been known to broken by sin, and his calling was to expose himself to, oh, let us as God's children accept the world, that he gave his only begotten son and his everlasting light. John 3 and 16 said, God might my father in heaven, which are on earth. Even in him, he was full of un un unfailing love and faithfulness. He has saved his own of the Father, one and only Son, in times and times of truth and to things became old things, and new things became new, and Christmas came because and, and old stayed us old. We as God's children must accept the love of Christ. Jesus is the reason for our season. The story we must understand as God's children doesn't really start in Bethlehem. It started long before in another time and place. The time was in eternity and the place was heaven. Jesus came to bring us love, peace, joy, better relationship, with quitting bad habits. We need to get rid of all that. Also, prosperity, understanding, reboot evil, better hearts, salvation, gifts of the Spirit, Inner beauty, compassion, kindness, generosity. These are the seeds of God's love and blessings. And we need to focus on this in the going in the year 2024. Because God said, hold on and keep the faith. We must be obedient and love one another because God is love. Jesus Christ can add life to our years. Years, peace, and blessings to all on our prayer line. Peace to all on the listening audience, all those with the sick and shed in, and may all have a prosperous and a blessed and a loving year, new year, 2024. God bless all, uh, all those and God's many, many precious gifts. Continue to bless us and he will all keep us in the year 2024. Peace be still to all. Amen and amen and amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Ellen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Everyone have a blessed, blessed day and we will see you. Hallelujah. In the coming new year. Glory to God. Love you with the love of Christ. Amen. Happy New Year! Yeah, amen.